before starting uh, uh, before going to inside the analog to digital converter so uh, we just uh, have a introduction why it is useful what are different uh, okay so it is a one of the most important peripheral units uh, of the embedded uh, controllers okay so adc is a uh, whenever you are uh, like you have a, a digital world like you have a different uh, you, like you want to measure the temperature humidity and pressure current and speed and acceleration of the your system so these systems are analog in nature and uh, when you want to proceed uh, these uh, analog signals uh, inside your digital signal processor or inside your controller uh, you need to control you need to convert your analog signal into the digital domain uh, for uh, computation purpose inside the controllers so uh, it provides the interface between the your controller and your real world real world means you have a different analog signals right so uh, uh, for the adc uh, analog digital converter uh, uh, it has an analog electrical voltage between uh, v minimum and v maximum so uh, like uh, it allows the you, you to give the input voltage uh, okay input voltage in terms uh, between zero between v minimum to v maximum so generally uh, the adc which we used uh, it allows the voltage range between zero uh, is a v minimum and v maximum is uh, 3 volt okay 3 volt and 3.3 volt so uh, and zero volt is a minimum voltage so uh, the range should be between zero to 3.3 volt and 3 volt depending upon your uh, analog to digital converter uh, okay and uh, the purpose of uh, the uh, purpose what is the purpose of this one uh, it will convert your analog voltage into the digital numbers like it will convert your 3 volt into the corresponding uh, digital number depending upon your uh, bit resolution of your uh, bit resolution of your adc so <clears throat> so depending upon the bit uh, the adc which we are using in uh, for the processor it is a 12 bit resolution okay it is a 12 bit resolution analog to digital converter and it has 16 uh, analog input channels and all have a voltage range between 0 to 3 volts these are the input voltage range of the analog to digital converter it is a 0 to 3 volts and we have a 16 at the adc channels <clears throat> and each uh, each adc channel have a uh, 12 bit resolutions okay so once you know what is your input uh, once you know what is your input signals and and you know what is your reference plus and reference minus and you know your resolutions you can easily calculate uh, your data what is digital data okay so suppose uh, v in your analog input voltage that is a range between 0 to 3 volt and the v reference is the uh, reference voltage that is the 3 volt and v reference minus is the 0 volt and your n is the resolution uh, okay n is the 12 because uh, the resolution of the adc which we are using is the 12 so when you are calculating this term so what you will get uh, okay Two, nine, five. Okay. So, uh, the resolution, uh, resolution means when you are in, what is the minimum value, uh, your ADC can uh, convert. Okay. So, uh, if we talk about the resolution, the resolution will be three over four zero nine five. If you are calculating this number, it will be approximate. Point seven nine millivolt. So this is the minimum voltage uh, this uh, ADC twelve bit ADC can convert into the digital domain. So if this is point zero seven millivolt, it will be uh, the out digital numbers will be uh, one. And if it is multiplication of if you multiply the, uh, if your digital number is two, okay. If your input is uh, multiply with two num uh, this number is multiply with two. your digital number will be 
so this is the minimum uh, voltage uh, which your adc can uh, uh, the analog to digital converter can convert into the digital domain okay so this is known as a resolution of your analog to digital converter okay so uh, uh, here uh, the maximum conversion rate uh, is 12.5 mega sample per second so it is a 80 nanoseconds it means that uh, you have given your uh, input to your analog to digital your adc so how much time it is converting a, a single samples like you have taken a one sample so how much time it is taking to convert a sample into the digital domain so it it took uh, around 12 point mega samples per second so this much of samples in a single second it, it can convert okay so for the one second if you are calculating so it will take uh, 80 nanoseconds to convert a single samples okay so further uh, uh, whether uh, it is a simultaneous sampling like you can do uh, multiple sam multiple samples at the Suppose, uh, for example, you have a multiple inputs, multiple analog inputs. Like you want to measure the voltage as well as current and for your algorithm. Okay, for uh, like you you want to use your MPPT algorithm, and uh, uh, for which you require the voltage and current. So uh, you have a two analog input. So uh, either you can do uh, both the analog input. Uh, you can convert uh, both the analog inputs at the same time or uh, like so it is a simultaneously right so uh, you can convert both the inputs at the same time like uh, and another uh, thing is you can take uh, you can convert voltage as the initial and the current as the uh, uh, sec for second uh, sampling durations so this is known as a simultaneous sampling okay so one is the sequential sampling and one another okay simultaneously means both should be in parallel and uh, sequential means First, uh, voltage will convert uh, or current will convert. Later, uh, the voltage or current will convert. Okay, depending upon your uh, requirement. So you can convert. So these are the sequential or simultaneously sampling modes. Okay, so there is uh, other uh, sampling modes like uh, auto sequencing mode. Uh, in the auto sequencing mode, how it will be? Uh, it will convert, uh, it will take all the 16 analog inputs. Okay, and it will convert on your state machines. Okay, it uh, the ADC also codes uh, code based on the state machine, and based on the state machine, it will convert all the channels, okay, uh, into the uh, digital domain. And uh, when it will convert your input, uh, like your voltage, when it will convert your voltage, okay, sorry, when it will convert your voltage and current into your digital domain, okay, so this value converted value should be stored in somewhere in the registers so it has a uh, 16 for the 16 analog input uh, the, it provides the 16 outputs so it provides the 16 uh, uh, stored registers 16 16 result stored registers so whatever converted uh, whatever converted uh, digital values will be there that will be stored in the result register it will be stored in the result registers Okay, so uh, stations uh, like uh, 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 a particular event or uh, that is generated by your software and uh, uh, okay or by the external pins and another event that you can generate the uh, you can start your ADC to convert uh, it uh, with the help of EPWM modules also so the EPWM modules also provide this facility uh, that uh, is used to convert your analog signals to uh, that uh, provide your triggering for the ADC to start the conversion. So EPW modules will also provide your, uh, it will generate an event uh, to trigger your ADC uh, for uh, start the conversions, start the conversion from analog to digital domain. Okay, so, uh, 
so it has a different operating modes like sequential mode sampling mode and uh, start mode so it has a three operating modes so in the sequential mode it has a two uh, modes like cascaded sequential mode and a dual sequential mode uh, what is this we'll talk uh, what what is the meaning of cascaded sequential mode and what is the meaning of dual sequential mode and the further is a sampling mode so it has a sampling in uh, like sequential sampling and a simultaneous sampling and the starting mode means single sequence mode and continuous mode so uh, if we do the uh, sequential sampling or auto sequential uh, so sequential mode select uh, uh, whether we use the state machine of auto sequential as a single 16 states uh, okay so these are known the cascaded states means in the se cascaded sequential mode we are using uh, all the 16 state all the 16 input in the cascaded form like uh, one after another uh, Okay, uh, first, uh, the first inputs will be converted into digital domain and the next, the second inputs will convert into the uh, uh, digital domain. In the dual sequential mode, uh, there will be two independent uh, pairs will be there for measurement units. Okay, uh, two independent, we will uh, see the uh, uh, architecture of this dual sequential mode and cascade sequential mode in the subsequent slides. And in the uh, sampling mode, we have a sequential sampling means we can take a one channel at a time and we can convert uh, into the digital domain or uh, in the simultaneous sampling we can take a two input channels uh, at the same time and we can convert into the digital domain uh, and the start uh, mode in a single sequential mode uh, it will uh, uh, it will do all the operation uh, one after another and at the end of the period, at the end of all the conversion, it will stop the sequence. Okay. And in the continuous mode, uh, it will be continuous. Like it will continuously, uh, like it is a count. It is formed as a counter. That counter is continuously increasing, uh, uh, continuously increasing. And when it will reach the threshold limits, again it will wrap to the zero. Okay. So, uh, so these are the different operating modes uh, which are used for the ADC. Uh, uh, for the ADC purpose and depends on your uh, requirement, your application which we are going to use. So uh, this is the architecture of ADC uh, sequential in the cascaded mode. So uh, in the cascaded mode, uh, this is the auto sequential for the sequence one. Uh, so the maximum conversion, so how may, how to convert it? So how this uh, ADC will start? Okay. So. Uh, So before we start the auto sequencer, uh, we have to select the maximum conversions. So depending upon your inputs, how many conversion you want, like how many input channels you want to convert into digital domain. So uh, the, you have to select the maximum conversion. Uh, based on your maximum conversion, you can select uh, the, your number of inputs you which you want to convert into the digital domain. Like uh, for example, you have a two analog inputs like voltage and current or you have a six, uh, like a three volt for three phase, uh, three voltage and three currents. Uh, is it as good? Oh, okay. To be converted in, yes, sir. It is not audible. Some uh, discontinuity is happening. It was breaking uh, in between. Sorry, sir. Maybe network issue. Okay. Uh, so, uh, is is it audible, sir? Now. Now it is fine. O okay, sir. So, uh, the maximum conversion will define uh, the how many conversions you want, how many channels you want to convert into the digital domain. So once you uh, and which input line should be converted in which stage? Okay. So uh, and uh, the channel selection will define that which input lines you want to use uh, at the which stage. Like these are different inputs. These are the uh, sixteen inputs. 
divided into two parts like uh, adc a0 to a7 are connected to the mux a uh, and further going to the sample and hold circuit and similarly uh, the adc b0 to b7 are connected to mux b and go further going to the sample and hold circuit so based on your in which input time and which stage you want to convert and these results are whatever converted results are so this is the analog to digital converter and the converted results are stored in the corresponding uh, result registers so these are the result registers <coughs> results register zeros to digital register 15s okay so uh, for example if you want to convert your analog uh, uh, inputs that is connected to your uh, conversion at uh, pin of a0 and the and the corresponding to result register is the result zero so uh, this is converted into your uh, corresponding result registers right so uh, like this uh, this is the uh, and there is another uh, like how you can start your uh, and and uh, auto sequential mode you can start your auto sequential mode by the software start or either or you can start your uh, uh, Analog to digital converter by the EPWM uh, start of conversion. So it is the SOC means start of conversion. Uh, so uh, from A uh, modules and start of conversion of the B modules, and there is an external pin on the board. Uh, with the help of external pins, you can also start your uh, conversion. Okay. So uh, so these are some triggering mode. Uh, by using the triggering mode, you can start your uh, um, adc uh, for conversion uh, for uh, convert your analog signal into the digital domain so for this uh, you uh, do not need for the interrupt uh, in, uh, interrupt you can do it with as either for the software or either for the epwm okay so if you are using interrupt it might uh, there is possible delay due to the uh, interrupt response so better to use the epwm of software uh, uh, to start your sequence okay so this is the adc uh, in the sequence adc sequential in the cascaded mode now uh, uh, the second operating modes in the adc is called the dual sequential mode okay so uh, in uh, in the cascaded mode all the sequence are in the same uh, sequence uh, this is connected to sequence one now in the dual sequential mode uh, all the sequence are split into two uh, Okay, auto sequences are split into two sequences. Uh, like one is the sequence one and another one is a sequence two. Okay, so uh, the sequence one use the EPWM. A sequence one can be triggered with the help of uh, either you can trigger it with the help of software or uh, with the help of EPWM SOC A uh, that is given here. That is given here. Okay. And similarly, the sequence two can be uh, uh, start with the help of either software and uh, EPWM SOC B. So, with the help of uh, EPWM SOC uh, start of conversion bits, uh, you can start your sequence one and sequence two uh, of the ADC. Okay. So, uh, uh, to code the input channels, so uh, which input channels you have to code? So, uh, to code your input channels. Uh, from the individual states uh, of the your two sequencers so for example if you want okay, so here makes uh, one r connect upper uh, upper mark and Okay, so Roy, it is not audible. Sir, might be the network issue. Okay. Uh, now, sir, it, it is audible, sir. Now. Yeah, yeah, it is fine. Oh, okay, sir. Might be the network issue, might. Be. Okay, so uh, whatever results register are uh, that converted and the results register are 
uh, if uh, result registers, uh, for example, uh, if uh, you are using the sequential one, uh, the sequential one will uh, 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 related to your uh, max A. So uh, when it when it will convert your input channel from the uh, A0 to A7, uh, the corresponding uh, res results will be stored in the uh, corresponding max. <coughs> So it will store the uh, result into the results zero to result seven registers. So uh, okay. So this is the uh, ADC sequential in dual sequential mode. Okay. So uh, so uh, in the cascaded mode, uh, you, uh, you have all the uh, sixteen conversion at the same time. So but here it uh, uh, it has a uh, two uh, the sequential auto sequencer are uh, divided into or split into two parts like sequence one and sequence two. Uh, the reason uh, for this split mode is to have a two independent ADC uh, and uh, both the ADC are triggered uh, with their own control base like uh, sequence one is uh, triggered with the help of uh, EPWM SOC A and sequence B is triggered with the help of EPWM SOC B. So, uh, both have independent control over here okay so you can use either sequence one or either sequence two based on your applications okay uh, for example uh, you want you have your input connected some of the input connected to your uh, or you want to control your motor uh, two motors you have and you want to connect control your one motor and uh, okay so the one motor you can uh, use the epwm one two three as a control and uh, okay and uh, for the second uh, motor, you can use the EPWM four to six for uh, second one. Okay, to trigger your ADC. So you can uh, control your two independent tasks uh, with the uh, with the in a dual sequencer mode. Okay, you can connect your analog signals uh, 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 at the different ADCs. Okay, different ADC pins. Of, okay, so. Uh, so, but uh, there is another limitation for the ADC. That is the clock of the ADC. Uh, generally, uh, the clock for the ADC is generated from the high-speed clock prescaler. Like uh, this is the ADC clock diagram. So, uh, so this is the ADC part. So, uh, the clock uh, is generated from the high-speed. Uh, this is the ADC part. So, clock is generated from the high-speed uh, clock. And that is a 150 megahertz and this high speed clock is generated from the pll control registers and pll status register and external uh, oscillators okay so uh, okay and the second limitation uh, is the maximum frequency for f clock as an internal input signal for adc units so uh, we have uh, another uh, okay for the adc uh, uh, internal signals uh, that uh, uh, the clock for the ADC is given from the F clock. Okay, so uh, this F clock is the internal signal for the ADC. ADC and uh, and this signal is limited uh, for 25 megahertz. Okay, and uh, if we are using 25 megahertz, uh, that uh, that could provide some error. Okay, and this is the high conversion rate. So. Uh, in some cases, we do not need a such a high conversion rate, and it might uh, mm, rising the so uh, to set up. Now, uh, to we have to three three uh, uh, three scalar bits. Selecting the ADC clock three scalar bits, we can uh, select the S clock as uh, twelve point five megahertz. Okay, and there is uh, another limitation is that. Uh, uh, the third limitation is the sampling window. So we have a sampling window. So uh, uh, that is controlled by the uh, acquisition prescaler. And okay. So this group bits. Uh, okay. This group bits. This is the ADC control register. This comes under the ADC control registers. 
so this group bits uh, define the length of the window that is used between the multiplexer switch and the time when we sample the input voltage okay so so these are the some uh, limitations and the sampling window will define with the help of uh, this formula so what is the size of the sampling window should be there so based on the uh, this adc control registers and adc clock uh, at uh, what at what time we want to do the sampling of uh, input signals okay that define uh, with the sampling window so these are some of the limitation of the adc uh, okay so to provide a clock for the uh, to provide the clock and to provide the sampling uh, to take the sampling uh, samples from the analog inputs is it audible sir yes yes okay uh, so the next is uh, uh, to uh, provide the uh, uh, to provide the conversions uh, to to convert your analog signals and to control your adc uh, it has and to store your result registers uh, it has some uh, set of uh, registers it has some set of control registers and some set of result registers uh, like you can here here also you can see uh, the cps bit also comes under the uh, adc control registers one and this is the adc control register three so uh, based on this uh, it is divided into several registers like adc control register one two and three uh the adc maximum conversion uh, channel register this is the adc max conversion and these are the uh, adc channel select sequence control registers and uh, at uh, adc auto sequence status registers and uh, after converting uh, the result should be stored uh, result is stored in the adc result registers and uh, uh, further it has uh adc reference uh, you can select your adc reference uh, uh from external or from internal uh, okay and adc offset trim registers and adc status and flag registers so these are different registers uh, which you are going to use uh, uh while converting uh, your input uh, while converting your uh, analog input into the digital domains so first we will talk about the adc control registers what is the function of this adc control register bits okay so uh, this is the upper bit registers uh, 7 to 15 uh, bits so uh, the reset what the function of the reset uh, the reset uh, can be used to reset the whole adc units into its initial states okay so uh, when you are doing reset of your adc it will reset your whole adc uh, into the initial states okay and there is a, another bit 13 and 12 bits this is the suspension mode uh, that define your interaction between your adc and the emulator command okay so uh, they define your what should be the interaction between your adc and the emulator so with the help of this you can uh, define your interactions now uh, these are the different interactions you can uh, provide your adc and your uh, emulator and there is a another equation time pre scalar uh, that define your uh, sampling window okay so de that defines your how uh, much your window length should be there so during that window length you can convert your analog signal into the digital domain and the cps bit will define uh, your these are the lower registers uh, so uh, the continuous run will uh, define whether the auto sequencer start at the end of the sequencer like if you are keeping it as zero that means your auto sequencer should start at the end of the sequence okay and uh, if you are keeping it as one it means it will wait for the another trigger like uh, uh, you are using your epwm okay like you are you are using your epwm and you are generating some events like edge counter equal to 0 and counter will reach as tvprd and again counter will equal to 0 so uh, if you are keeping it to 0 it means uh, your auto sequencer will start at the end of the sequence when it 
when it when it convert your analog signal into digital domain it will stop there and if you are keeping it one means it will wait for uh, uh, another trigger like you have trigger your adc here so it will wait uh, the another trigger at this position and at this position it will again start converting your analog signal into digital domain okay so uh, so the continuous learn bits will define your uh, uh, auto sequential and here is sequence override this is the one bit define the two different options for the continuous mode okay uh, generally we don't care about it we don't use in uh, our program so it will keep it at don't care conditions and uh, uh, the finally the bit 4 uh, this is the sequence mode so in which sequence you want to use your adc either you want to use in the dual mode and you want to use in the cascaded mode okay so in the cascaded mode uh, you have all the six okay uh, okay you want to use your uh, like dual mode and cascaded mode you know already what is the meaning of dual and cascaded mode now uh, uh, this these these are the some function of the adc control registers uh, now what is the purpose of uh, adc control register 2 uh the adc control register two are further divided into two parts uh, one is the upper registers another one is the lower registers uh, the upper registers will uh, uh, okay and the upper registers of the adc control register two uh, is responsible for controlling the operating mode of the sequence one okay so uh, if you are using uh, uh, the adc control registers uh, that is used only in the dual sequencer mode okay so uh, in the 15 bits the uh, 15 bit that is the epwm socb sequence uh, allow uh, the cascade sequencer to the start by the epwm b like if you are keeping uh, this value so uh, if you are keeping this value is 1 so you can allow uh, your sequence uh, and you can start your sequence with the help of epwm soc okay and Uh, reset sequence means uh, we can reset your sequence uh, to the initial states. Okay, like uh, you have uh, some state machines, like uh, with the help. Of, okay, so somewhere uh, state state machine is at conversion six or seven. So with the help of reset, what you can do, you can res uh, reset your uh, uh, conversion. You can reset reset your sequencer one uh, to the initial states, and SOC sequence one. Uh, when you are keeping it as one uh, we perform an immediate start of conversion under software control when you are keeping it as one means we are we can uh, start your conversion uh, with the help of software okay so you can keep it as one and there is another uh, interrupt like there are two interrupts like interrupt enable sequence one and interrupt mode sequence one okay so these uh, interrupts define the interrupt mode for the sequence one and we can specify whether we have a interrupt request uh, uh this interrupt uh, we have a interrupt request every end of uh, uh, end of sequence or every other end of the sequence so uh, this bits will initialize whether you want to use the interrupt whether you want to enable your interrupt or not and this bit will initialize uh, when uh, you want to generate an interrupt okay uh, next is uh, epw Rohit, hello. It is not audible. Uh, Rohit, it is breaking. Your voice is breaking. Hello. Okay. DC control is upper. And this is the lower bit. Rohit, Rohit. Yes, yes, sir. That one minute, your voice was not audible. Uh, okay, sir. Can you re-explain? Um, uh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can re-explain. So, uh, this is the ADC control registers. So, uh, okay. 
so uh, adc control register there are divided into two parts one is the upper uh, bit registers and another one is the lower bit registers so upper bit are divided into uh, uh, eight uh, eight bits and lower bit are further divided into eight bit this is total 16 bit uh, so here uh, epwm socb uh, allows the cascade sequencer to be start by uh, epwm socb signals okay but this signal is not used in the dual sequential mode and this signal is used uh, in the cascade mode so whether you want uh, your soc uh, to start by apwm or not further the reset signal uh, we can reset your uh, sequential one to its initial states like uh, by keeping this value as one you can immediately reset your uh, sequence one to your initial states like uh, and okay and this means that uh, uh, when next trigger will start uh, when next trigger will come it will start the conversion from uh, zero states like it will convert from conversion 00 uh, the similarly soc sequence will uh, perform uh, an immediate start of the conversion under software uh, control it means that uh, by keeping this value as one uh, you can immediately start your conversion Uh, by keeping this bit as one, you can immediately start uh, your conversion uh, under software control. There is no EPWM control by keeping this value. You can immediately start your conversion. Okay. Uh, there is another register that is uh, uh, interrupt registers. So interrupt enable sequence will. Uh, uh, whether you want to enable your interrupt for the ADC uh, or not. So okay, an interrupt mode sequence will. Uh, allows you when you have to specify uh, whether we have to interrupt request uh, at uh, uh, every end of sequence and when you have to interrupt every other end of sequence like uh, when this sequence has completed uh, during this period you have a interrupt or the next period you have a interrupt so it will define when you have a interrupt there is another mode like epwm soc um, uh, a sequence one uh this will uh, allows like uh like uh, you uh, it is a mask bit and it allows the epwm epwm signal soc start of a conversion to be used to trigger the conversions so if you want to use uh, if you want to trigger your ep uh, adc uh, you can keep this bit as one uh, okay and if you don't want to use uh, uh, to trigger your adc with the pwm uh, you can keep this bit as zero so uh, okay so with this you can uh, select how you can control your uh, analog to digital converter how it should be cascaded mode uh, whether you have to reset your controller hey, whether you have to reset your uh, adc and uh, how you should start your conversion uh, okay Uh, whether with the help of software start and you have to trigger like external trigger you have to give and uh, you whether you have to provide your interrupt to your system uh, interrupt at uh, at every end of sequence and at every other end of sequence and uh, you can uh, trigger your uh, adc uh, by the pwm so these are the upper uh, eight bit Uh, and the lower eight bit will be similar, uh, and this is used for the sequence one. So this is used for the sequence. Uh, 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 this is used for the sequence one, and this is used for the sequence two. So it was a picture of the code. Uh, ADC. One minute. Uh, the structure will be ADC registers. Uh, ADC uh, registers dot ADC control two. Okay, this is the uh, for the control registers two. Now, uh, uh, this is for ADC control register three. So uh, here you can see uh, S mode sampling mode selections. so how you want to take a sampling from the adc either you want to take the sampling in the sequential sampling mode or you want to take a sampling in simultaneous sampling in the sequential sampling means you want to take uh, you want to use uh, you want to convert your input 
uh, in the sequence manner one by uh, one after another and the simultaneous sampling means you want to use uh, you want to convert two uh, input channel at the same time right and uh, the adc clock prescaler will define what should be your f clock frequency for the adc okay so uh, uh, that could be your 12.5 megahertz and lower uh, than 12.5 megahertz by selecting this formula uh, by selecting this formula you can uh, uh, change your adc control uh, adc frequency okay so this allow you to take the samples from uh, conversion at the slower rate okay and another one is the adc powered uh, this is the uh, fifth bit this is the main power switch for the analog circuitry inside the device okay so uh, inside the device this is the when you uh, whether you want to start, start your adc so uh, by setting this one we can uh, power up your adc okay and uh, there is another uh, is that uh, adc band gap reference so uh, this band gap reference provide uh, uh, adc band gap and reference voltage power down sequence uh, of the internal reference voltage system okay so this is the internal voltage reference uh, inside the adc there will be some uh, uh, you you can give the reference voltage so for that reference voltage uh, you can uh, powered your uh, reference voltage with the help of uh, this bit of resistors okay so now uh, now let us assume that uh, uh, you want to convert uh, uh, your signal and you have a signal like uh, adc a4 input signal is adc input 4 adc in a4 and you have another signal that is adc in b4 right and you want to use uh, you want to convert this signal into the parallel so how you will initialize these signals means you want to convert your signal into the parallel mode so uh, how you are selecting your mode so to select your mode what you have to use you have to use s mode underscore selection equals to one one means you are doing the simultaneous sampling uh, you can check uh, from previous slide like how can we select uh, like if you are keeping this bit as zero that means you are uh, making uh, you are making this uh, you you are doing the sequential sampling and if you are converting two inputs at the same time so you can use it this bit as one that means you are converting the simultaneous sampling so uh, there are two conversion right so <clears throat> so how you are selecting like uh, how should uh, so uh, there are two conversion so how you are uh, select your conversion so these are two uh, two adc like two uh, this is for sequence 1 okay and this is for sequence 2 so sequence 1 will do the one one conversion sequence 2 will uh, do the another conversion so for the sequence one it will do the one conversion for the sequence two it will do the one conversion so for that one what should be the maximum conversion it is uh, one from uh, the sequence one and one from the sequence two that is Conversion is one. So, in uh, in the simultaneous sampling, uh, so in the sequential sampling, this will be two. But in the simultaneous simultaneous, uh, this will be one. And in the simultaneous sampling, it will be zero. So, the maximum conversion will be number of samples, number of conversion minus one. Okay. So, like this, you can uh, uh, you can convert like this. You can keep uh, your uh, you can uh, select your sampling mode, and you can uh, select the maximum conversion. Uh, for your uh, input signals so uh, further the maximum conversion defines the number number of conversion in the auto sequential mode uh, okay so uh, there are uh, 
okay so uh, there are two different modes like uh, if you are using the cascade mode and if you are using the dual mode in the dual mode uh, okay in the dual mode it uh, the adc is divided into two parts okay in the sequence one and the sequence two so uh, sequence one will have a eight bit and the sequence two will have a eight and sequence one have a eight channels and sequence two have a eight channels so it uh, okay so you can select uh, the sequence one uh, with the help of three conversions like maximum uh, conversions one underscore zero to maximum conversion one score two so this is two key power three and uh, further uh, in the sequence two you can use these three bits uh, for the conversion okay but in the cascaded mode uh, the total number is uh, total channel is 16 so you have to use two key power uh, you have to use four bits so it will be two key power four means total 16 so these four bits you have to consider in the cascaded mode okay so uh, like in the sequence one uh, the initial state will be at uh, conversion zero and any state will be the conversion zero seven and for the sequence two it will start from zero eight to 15 but in the cascaded mode all will be uh, uh the conversion will start from zero zero to one five okay so uh like uh this is the how you can define the number of how you can define the bits uh how you can uh, uh, use the sequence one and sequence two to for maximum conversions so uh like um, further these conversions are divided into four channel selection registers so these are the uh, four channel selection registers adc channel selection sequencer one and this is the adc channel selection for sequencer two okay so these are the uh, sequencing registers like and similarly this is the sequence three and this is the sequence four so uh, this is the 16 bit registers okay so uh, your conversion zero is also four bit so conversion one conversion two conversion three so these bits are corresponding to uh, your uh, this is the a0 this is the a1 this is related to a2 this is related to a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 so uh, depending upon your uh, if you want to use only uh, uh, all uh, input channels like uh, only a channel sequence ones only you want to use so for this one you can use these two conver uh, these two uh, conversion registers and if you want to use the sequence two, you can use uh, these two conversion registers. Okay, so uh, like uh, where, how you can start your conversion, like uh, okay, uh, for better understanding of this one, uh, let us suppose that uh, we are uh, converting uh, the ADC. We are converting the ADC IN A6 B1 A2 A0. Okay, so these channels we are converting in the sequence mode. So ADC A6 will be it will be converging 0 0 and okay, and this is uh, this is connected to uh, your uh adc a6 means it, the conversion will be uh six pin okay so that means that uh this conversion uh at zero zero we are converting the adc a6 number of pins and if P1 will be complete. The next one is uh, the sequence 2 will come. So, uh, first the A0 to A7 will come. Then, next is B0 to B7 will come. So, uh, the B, uh, B1 is uh, is the uh, the sequence 7, a uh, sequence 9. A0 to A7 total A sequence. Uh, B0 is uh, B0 is okay. A0 to A7. Total if you are con uh, converting from if you are counting from zero, so it will be seven and uh, B zero will be eight and B one will be nine. So it will be nine number of conversion and A two is the it is the three number of conversion and 
a0 will be your zero number of conversion sorry a2 will be your two number of conversion and a0 will be your zero number of conversion so uh, like this we can keep your uh, conversion like which means you wants to convert okay so uh, now uh, where you wants to take uh, where you wants to take your sampling um, with the help of epwm and we we, we can trigger your uh, epwm and where we want uh, where we want to take a samples for the uh, in the auto sequential mode so uh, here we have a six inputs v1 v2 v3 and i1 i2 i3 so uh, this is the up down counter okay epwm time time based counter so when your signal uh, when your counter will start at zero position during this position we can generate an event we can trigger uh, we can give the signals to the adc uh, to takes the uh, uh, to take the input from v1 v2 and v3 and start the conversing okay and uh, when uh, that your counter will reach to tbprd uh, we can further uh, send the request uh, we can further send the request to the adc to start the another three input signals and when it will comes to zero again we can uh, generate your triggers we can trigger we can generate a trigger signals okay uh, to again uh, for the sequence once to start the conversion so uh, these are the auto sequential mode so uh, v1 v2 and v3 are triggered when counter will equal to zero and uh, the i1 i2 i3 are triggered when counter will reach to the tbprd so uh, here uh, the adc can be uh, run in the cascade sequential mode and the uh, sequence uh, sequential sampling modes okay so uh, for example uh, like the maximum conversion we have set is 2 we have a three conversion for the one channel so we are using two channels like okay so maximum conversion we have set 2 uh, okay so uh, and uh, Uh, v1 v2 v3 are connected to your channel sequence 1 and i1 also connected to channel sequence 1 and i2 i3 connected to your uh, adc channel sequence 2 so what you have to do uh, once you have uh, once reset are uh, reset and initialize initialize the sequence 1 wait for the trigger okay so whatever sequence 1 is that will wait for the trigger from the apw modules and once the trigger uh, comes to the adc it will start converging okay uh, it will start converging of the v1 v2 and v3 further it will wait for the second trigger okay and uh, when second trigger comes uh, okay so when it uh, then start converging from i1 i2 and i3 and these are the sequence mode so uh, all the conversion will happens in the sequentially so when all the convergence happens uh, then and it will generate adc will generate the end of sequence signals and the result registers will store in the corresponding results like v1 is stored in the result 0 v2 is stored in result 1 like it will store uh, the registers in, into the corresponding result registers okay so uh, when uh, another reset uh, sequence register will come sequence okay the sequence one waits at the current state for another trigger so uh, these are the result stored in the uh, corresponding result registers now the sequence uh, one will wait for the just register see at 0 to 15 third in the okay and it said is sorry your voice is breaking uh okay sorry so uh now it is already fine Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So, uh, so it is the ADC uh, result registers. So, uh, it is the sixteen. Uh, it is the sixteen bit registers and num uh, and sixteen in numbers. 
So for results uh, for ADC A0, it will store store the results into the uh, uh, ADC results zero. Okay, so it is 16 bit and but our ADC is the uh, ADC resolution is the 12 bit. So uh, it will store uh, the 12 bits into the left part, not in the right part. So right part will be empty. Okay. So uh, what it will do? It will uh, uh, it will make the weight uh, for the two states. Uh, okay. So uh, okay. So this uh, when it is uh, making uh, this space is empty. So it will wait uh, state read. So it will wait for the two states and for the start reading. So uh, what we will do? Uh, we just make the mirror of this uh, ADC digital registers. So mirror of this will. So it, what it will do? It will shift all the registers, all the bit registers, in the right side. So okay. So let us uh, take an example. If we have an input three volt, your digital results will be uh, to F F F, and your ADC digits will be uh, in the corresponding binary domains. Okay. So these bits. Okay. So what we will do? Uh, we just uh, add the mirror image of this result registers. So what it will do? It will shift your registers. How it will shift? It will shift the lower bit registers. So the first bit register will shift here. The second register will shift here. Third, it shift here, and fourth is shift here. So it will be zero 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 zero, and this is the. Uh, so this registers will be shifting here. Okay, this register will be shifting here. This is shifting here, and this is shifting here. Okay, so like this, this will uh, do the shifting. So, uh, what is the uh, advantage of this one? If we are doing the mirror image. So uh, let's take example that uh, we have an input voltage uh, like minus 1.5 volt to 1.5 volt, and we are giving the input voltage with the help of op amp, and we have added the offset, like uh, because uh, the ADC we can't give the negative voltage, so we are adding the offset to the 1.5 volts. So your input will be zero to three volts, right? So uh, when your input will be zero to three volts, uh, okay. So uh, again, uh, when you are converting, so uh it will give uh, input will be 0 to 3 volts so it will be your all the values will be uh, this one okay so but you want your results to be 1.5 volt so now if you are uh, subtracting your results if you are subtracting your results from this one uh, 1.5 volt it will make the error okay so what we do we just uh, subtract the results from the mirror registers okay so uh, the, your values will be the in, in the form of integer. So in the help of with the help of mirror registers, we are just subtracting your offset. Here, what we have done, we have added the offset. Now to get the to get the actual signal, we are just subtracting your uh, offset to get the actual value. So this is the useful of uh, using the mirror image registers uh, from the ADC. So uh, you can uh, you can avoid the errors. Uh, while using the actual registers okay so like this you can uh, we can handle the uh, negative signals uh, in the adc and uh, okay so uh, for example uh, you need the reference voltage uh, I vote and there is no change. Uh, the zero to three volt full scale range of the air. so with the help of reference selected, you can select your reference voltage uh, inside the controller. Okay, so uh, this is the one of the objective. Uh, so uh, whatever we have uh, ex uh, explained in this uh, lectures, we are trying to uh, do in the experiments. So. Uh, what we are going to do we are just converting the adc a0 and adc a1 registers and uh, the sampling frequency that is generated by the epwm2 that is a 15 50 kilohertz and uh, okay and uh, the vr1 and vr2 we are uh, changing from uh, 0 to 3.3 volts okay 
and the adc will automatically start uh, with the help of epwm2 period event so this is triggered with the epwm2 okay and adc will also generate the interrupt at the end of uh, its um, uh, last period okay and we will uh, blink the led for so this is the simple examples so i am not uh, covering the example i am just uh, what are the registers which we re which we have to require to perform this activity so uh, we are performing uh, the uh, we are triggering from the time based uh, epwm2 so for the epwm2 we need that time based control registers uh, time based period registers uh, then time based counter registers time based pre scaler event trigger and the event trigger selected so what are the event and which points we want to uh, trigger the events so these are the important registers uh, with the help of this event trigger registers uh, we can select we can trigger your adc and the for adc we need all the control set of registers we need the uh, channel select sequential registers how many maximum number of registers conversions we want and we have a two inputs so uh, these two results uh, registers we want for the adc okay